Hi, I'm Michelle LeVan, the artist artist, and I'm down here with my Encounters All of Prima project. And I'm with Mike Hatton, and he's going to tell me a story while I paint his portrait. My name's Mike. I'm 54. I grew up in Oregon. Um, went to high school in California. Went to chef school in Seattle. My mother played Yenta, shall we say, and at 35 I met the man that I had spent 35 years looking for. And we saw each other. Um, it was one of those, it was just like they say, the lightning just went and the world stood still and everything was motionless. My work as an artist with my partner, I was a chef in Seattle, mm -hmm. met him in San Francisco, um, where my mother was living. I was, had moved there to basically, you know, sell my soul to some restaurant and, right. you know, go play on the porch with the big dogs. And a friend of hers was in town doing an art fair and he asked me if I wanted to travel with him for the summer. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I'll, I don't have a job yet. I've never been across the Rocky Mountains. Um, where is Kansas anyway? <laughs> and he showed me how to make a few of the things that he made. Uh -huh. And I picked right up on it. And the next thing I know, we're riding this wave of, you know, we're getting into all the shows and being, you know, getting awards, et cetera, et cetera, and uh -huh. trying to decide whether or not we want to, you know, go for the big time or reel it in. And and I think we were just, it was a blessing that we were so busy, we never got to really make that decision. 15 years into all of this, I was driving to the bank after the show here in Topeka, the Mulvane Art Fair and got T-boned by a guy doing about 55 miles an hour in the van I was in, rolled three times, and all I got was a broken arm. And then we went to do our best show of the year out in Pennsylvania, and I'm still in this broken arm and had a great time, get home, and I'm diagnosed with cancer. Oh my goodness. And um, because they tell men who are 50 plus to do this little exam on themselves, like they ask women to do breast exams, and most men won't do it. Um, well, I do. I caught it early, and it's gone. Wonderful. So I went, whoa, I think I just took control of my life, and something went pretty well. I guess what I'm doing is the right thing for me, and I'm just going to keep putting one foot in front of the other and see what happens every step, or not, or just as long as I keep moving, um, then I'm kind of, you know, in, in motion with, with what's going on. Right. And uh, Chuck and Ruby came to us and very timidly asked if we would be interested in exhibiting in their gallery. Mm -hmm. um, I read between the lines that they thought we were too snooty for them and would never consider it and I thought to myself we've been living here in this area near Topeka for me almost 20 years and have never been offered to exhibit in a gallery anywhere and I thought you know why because these are the people that we're meant to be in partnership with right and that's why I'm here on a Saturday afternoon um, and what I could find, you know, laying at the end of my bed to put on. And I come down here and I run into people like you and people in the gallery and I get new ideas for mobiles and they give me opportunities to um, do the things that I want to do. I'm trying to start a, like a personal chef business because I don't want to be involved in the rat race of restaurant work anymore, mm -hmm. and so we're going to try and work something out in that regard. Oh, well that would and be great for Topeka. All of this 
just it, it's another platform for me to do like you were saying um, get out of the house and meet people and and see what's really going on